Hey, Mike Waters here from the Waters Wake Up Call. This morning we were talking cashiers and what frustrates them about us, the customer. People that can't put their parts away. I totally agree. There's this theory. It's kind of a litmus test for whether or not you're capable of self-governing. It really announces what kind of moral character you really? have. I think they're very narcissistic. Okay. Let somebody else put it away. I'm not going to do that. I'm too important. I'm a customer. I'm going to get in my car. I'm going to leave. I got things to do. Oh, I know what it is. That's not my job. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my job. <laughs> How about those days when the store is really crowded and you're driving around and, and looking for a spot and then you see a spot kind of open and you're getting closer and closer and it's like, oh, there's a shopping cart there. Yep. So then put the cart away and then maybe park in that spot or move on. Move on, probably. Yeah. Probably. Because that ain't my job. I ain't moving the cart. <laughs> Good morning. I'm calling from my gas station. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hot scoop on the customers you judge? What do they do? The number one thing that irritates the ever-living out of me <laughs> is when my, my, my daughter works with me as well. She has to have a fake name on her name tag because the old men will not leave her alone. Uh. Constant, wow. constant, constant. It's, it's always the old guys, isn't it? it? It really, honestly, I'll be honest, it is. You know, it was acceptable back in the day, so, uh, you know, it's just how it is, I guess. It doesn't make it right, though. Exactly. Yeah. The second thing that irritates me more than anything in the world is when people expect us to know what they smoke for cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, give Good me morning. some cigarettes, please. Yeah. <laughs> Even I know, and I don't smoke, my wife does. I used to, but I quit. But I always go up, yeah, I'll take a pack of Marlboro Light Shorts box. <laughs> you know, I just, boom, there yep. you go. That's what I need. Yep, exactly. Yeah. So hey. those are the two most irritating things about working in a gas station. You know, yes. you, you got to come up with some lines for those old Have guys. You know? Well, well, if they're saying those kinds of things to your daughter, you just got to, you know, come up with some stuff. Yeah. You know, I'll tell you, it's not just to her, it's to me too. Like yeah. this morning, I wore my hair down for the first time in a few months, yeah. and I have really long hair. Yeah. And the guy, one of my regulars, he's like, oh, you should wear your hair down more often. And I'm like, yeah, well, yeah, ponytail, you know. He's right. like, yeah, but it looks so much better. So much better. Like you right. look like crap if it's not down. Exactly. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> Uh, you know, if it's people hard could just a woman in a gas station yeah, world, <laughs> I'll bet I would have no idea, but I'll I'll bet. I really have a problem with people pulling money out of their underwear, socks, bras. <laughs> 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 I mean, you know, yeah. and then they sit and wonder why like COVID goes around. Hello. Well, <laughs> why are they keeping it in their underwear? It's cheap to buy a damn billfold. <laughs> I guess. Do you think maybe they have pockets in their underwear? Well, I don't know, but well, it's just rude. Tell you what, have the uh, customer put it on the counter, and you, and I think all cashiers should have tongs. You can pick that kind of money up and, and just put it in the till and forget about it. Then you're turning around and handing it out to someone else and it's like ew. Put a little mark <laughs> on there so you know which bills are safe to touch. Probably none of them by the time yeah. they get here. But. Well, right. I mean, you don't know what some of this money has experienced. <laughs> Since I've gotten so old, I do something that I know drives every cashier crazy. My mother told me once, I know I'm old when I start doing this. I dig in my change purse for the exact amount of change. Oh. So that I do get bills at yeah. and I know I've seen people behind me waiting in line roll their eyes there's a chance I always do it otherwise I end up with all this change do you have a debit card I do yeah I don't like using a lot of that you'd rather use cash right to each his own you know and sometimes you'll have to deal with uh, if it's just some eye rolling you don't have to worry about that I but know if somebody's screaming come on lady we're in a hurry back here <laughs> I do have experience, the one that you were just talking about, people bringing up their items and leaving them on the register and then going uh, and doing their shopping. That is so um, rude. I, it is. And then another one that I, I get a lot are people that bring in um, or use $50 bills or $100 bills and we have to check them. Yeah. And they, they say, oh, yeah, I just made that today. Ha, 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 ha. Ha, 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 ha. It's just dumb, and I've heard it probably a dozen times already that day. I'm sure. I'll bet it's really frustrating if they come in, they buy a pack of gum, and they give you a hundred for it. Or 
the first transaction of the morning when you got a oh. brand new fresh drawer in there. Right, and there's right. There's only a certain amount of change in there to start with. And you know, I've actually been behind a guy in line who paid with a $100 bill, and it was maybe $10 and something. But the person didn't have the money in the till, and this person got just, like irate with the cashier and it's like well i mean it's a hundred this isn't a bank you know i mean even (laughs) i know yeah exactly Uh, some people i don't know if you've noticed this or not some people are dumb oh oh yes yes they are weekday mornings 5 30 to 10 105.7 kokz